What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another Spider-Man Far From Home news update. So in today's video we're of course going to be checking out a very interesting new clip from the film that actually raises more questions than it answers. But just before I get started, please know that in this video I will of course be talking about major spoilers from Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so the clip starts off with Nick Fury introducing Peter Parker to Quentin Beck and Peter is quick to refer to him as Mysterio, which I believe is what the Venice News will nickname Beck after he has stopped Hydro Man, as we did of course previously see him taking on the elemental threat during a news broadcast on the TV in the movie's teaser trailer, which I believe states that a creature made of water emerges from the canal and threatens the entire city. Mysterious Man fought with the creature. So as we learn from the most recently released trailer, Beck is actually from another universe and was able to travel to Peter's Earth due to a tear in his dimension, which was actually caused by the snap. Now whether that was due to Thanos five years prior to this film wiping out half of all life in the universe, or Bruce bringing everyone back, or even Tony sacrificing himself to erase Thanos and his army still remains to be seen, as director John Watts didn't want to give the answer away at this time. Now as Quentin explains that there are multiple realities, he refers to Peter's Earth as Dimension 616, and as many of you will know, Earth 616 is actually the primary continuity in which most Marvel comic titles take place, which is interesting because because the designated universe number for the Marvel Cinematic Universe has always been known as Earth 199999, so I'd assume that has now been retconned. But here's where things start to get extremely exciting, because Beck actually goes on to say that he is from Earth 833, which in Marvel Comics is actually the reality that was home to William Braddock, better known as Spider UK. That is of course until an incursion resulted in his universe's demise. It's also worth pointing out that in Avengers Endgame during the 1970s, scene, Peggy Carter can actually be heard saying that Braddock hasn't checked in for a while. Now she could be referring to Captain Britain himself, Brian Braddock, or his father, James Braddock. But either way, it does sound like Marvel Studios do have plans to introduce the Captain Britain core in the MCU. Now going back to Beck's mention of Earth 833, this could of course just be a simple easter egg, but then I started looking into it further, and eventually I came across this Spider-Man toy that was revealed at New York Toy Fair early this year. And interestingly enough, aside from this light blue design, this figure with its white lining around the suit was actually the only toy on show that was still specifically part of the movie's merchandise, but not based on the Stark suit, the Stealth suit, or even the new black and red suit. Now, yes, movie licensed toys can of course be extremely misleading and end up not accurately reflecting the content of the final cut of the movie. But with this toy and Mysterio confirming that he is from Earth 833, to me, this just seems like way too big of a coincidence. And the thought of seeing Tom Holland playing a young version of Brian Braddock in a Spider UK suit speaking with his British accent is extremely exciting and literally has my mind running wild with ideas. So for instance, what if, for example, Mysterio was actually humiliated by Spider UK in Earth 833, and thanks to the hole in the 616 dimension, was able to pass through to Peter's Earth, which he uses as an opportunity to train him, only to knock him down again. Maybe if Beck is truly behind the Elementals, who John Watts recently revealed are coincidentally also from Earth 833, perhaps I could also explain why he's decided to attack the London Tower Bridge, possibly out of spite for Braddock's actions on his Earth. Earth. As for the other attacks, he could just be using the Sandman fight as his big reveal, and taking on Hydra Man and Molten Man could yet again be a demonstration of his abilities, making the world believe that he is a so-called hero. But obviously, these are all just my theories. However, there is one line that could completely disprove my theory, and that is when Mysterio says to Peter that, and I quote, we could use someone like you on my world. Interesting that he says we, because we now know that he is supposed to be on a team of heroes, or is that villains certainly seems like a great excuse to reference an alternate version of the Sinister Six. But of course, as every Spider-Man fan will know, Quentin Beck is usually full of it. And I'm sure he's lying about a few things in this movie, more specifically his true intentions, but I do believe that he is telling the truth about being from Earth 833, because that's exactly the kind of thing that Fury, Hill, and the rest of S.H.I.E.L.D. would likely check up on before assigning this random person to their team. Although that doesn't mean that another Spider-Man doesn't 
already exist on his earth. That is unless Mysterio hasn't already killed him. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Bit of a different one than what you're used to seeing on this channel, but I just had to share this theory with you guys already because if it turns out to be true, then Spider-Man Far From Home is going to be one crazy movie. And even if it's not true, the possibility of now seeing the Spider-Verse in the future of the MCU is more likely than ever. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.